So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, PhotographyPX.com. In today's video, I want to give you guys some tips if you're experiencing the memory card lock issue or error on the Sony ZV-1. Now, I've been experiencing this issue personally for the last three to four weeks. Uh, it initially happened back in November, late November, and uh, I've been able to troubleshoot, find some ways to troubleshoot this particular issue. This is not by any means a proven fix. These are just things that I've tried that have actually been able to allow me to use the Sony ZV-1 with the memory card that I had installed at the time. Now, uh, I will give you guys some context on this issue. If you're seeing this on screen, you will see the actual error that you get on screen. It essentially causes the camera to not recognize the installed SD card. Now that's regardless if it's a UHS-1 or UHS-2 class card. It doesn't matter what size it is, whether it's 32 or 64 gigs, uh, it just, just doesn't work. It doesn't matter if it's a class 10 or not. Uh, I've tried it on a variety of different SD cards and that is the issue that comes up. And essentially you cannot save any photos to the camera besides the one internal shot that you can take on the camera's internal storage. But if you're experiencing that particular issue, here are some proven strategies that I found that will at least get you using the Sony ZV-1 again. I'm going to demonstrate this with another camera. I am filming this video with the Sony ZV-1, which I've gotten to work. But essentially what you're gonna do, this is fix number one. Uh, you are going to have the Sony ZV-1. You are going to take out the SD card out of the bottom compartment. Then proceed to turn the camera on, go into the stills mode. And what you're gonna do is take a photo and it's going to save it to the camera's internal storage. Now what you're gonna do at this point, you're, zero, you're gonna actually put the SD card in and then take a photo. Um, then take a photo and last week, this was able to correct the issue. I don't know why that corrected the issue. I just happened to try that and it worked. That's fix number one. It let me know if that works and you're experiencing that issue. Let me know if that corrected the problem. Uh, that did for me. And then I ended up taking out the SD card, putting in an SD card reader, and I started having the problem again, fortunately. So uh, fix number two is a little bit more complicated. If you're a Mac OS user, this may be a little bit more of a tedious process, just letting you know. If you're on Windows, this is very straightforward. But essentially what you're going to do is that you're going to have to download and install Windows 10, and then you're going to have to reformat the SD card into XFAT on Windows 10. Now, I, I would imagine you can do this on Mac OS. I didn't really do any research to confirm that you can do XFAT on Mac, Mac OS because it is a Windows proprietary file format system. Um, you might be able to do it on Mac OS, but I didn't take the time to research that. Uh, so I already had Windows installed through Parallels. Um, I will put that link in the description down below where you can download Parallels and you can download a free trial. Um, and then I will also put a link where you can download the Windows 10 ISO so that you can install Windows on your Mac OS device if you are using Mac OS. For Windows users, I'm going to boot up my computer and then I'm gonna show you guys right now that process. Now, this is not a confirmed workaround. Uh, this is just what I did. I got an error, but it still happened to fix the problem. I'm just letting you know. Um, but I'm gonna show you that right now. First and foremost, you're going to connect the camera to the computer. Now, I did this by using the external SD card reader. This may or may not work by connecting the camera to a USB cable, that just a micro USB cable to the computer. Uh, you can try that, but I did, I'm letting you know, I did use an SD card reader. So what you're gonna do, navigate over into Windows, and then you're gonna go into the startup menu, then the Explorer tab, and here you're going to navigate to the drive, right click, and then hit the format button. By default, it's going to pop up these various settings. The default settings are good. Just leave them as is. It's gonna restore the drive back to the factory default settings that comes with it. So the settings that you see on screen right now are the settings that it should be reformatted to, and you're going to hit the reformat key or the quick reformat. Now, like I said, I did experience an issue with this. Uh, it did not work seamlessly. The, the computer was not able to actually reformat the card but that process actually did resolve the error and I was actually able to then insert the SD card into the ZV-1 and it did actually work. From there, what I then did is that I actually reformatted the SD card. Um, now, this may be an issue uh, just because I've been using multiple camera systems. Uh, I've been using Fujifilm, I've used Sigma. Um, I've used a number of different other camera systems with the SD cards that I own and every single camera system has a different file hierarchy and the way that it organizes files and there's also probably hidden files that it writes to the SD card. 
And I think Sony, they have their own proprietary way that they do the DSIM folder and they have like a, a, a secondary photo folder that has clips and video files and a bunch of other metadata for video specifically. Uh, some other camera manufacturers don't do that. So um, when it starts seeing other files in the DSIM folder, it gets confused and it basically locks out the memory card. Now, uh, I didn't, you may be able to fix this issue by getting another SD card, um, but if you're having this issue, then these are the two steps that I found uh, that have corrected this issue. Uh, I will reach out to Sony to see if I can potentially do a support ticket or something like that. Um, but I hope that this video helps you guys if you're experiencing this issue with the Sony ZV-1. Let me know in the comments down below if it did. Uh, let me know if you're also experiencing this issue and I will reach out to them and see if we can get a firmware related fix so that people don't have to send them their working cameras to uh, support to get repaired when it's really just a software related bug of some sort. But I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photographypx.com. Hope you found this video insightful and helpful. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or feel like I have overlooked something in the course of this video, please let me know in the description box down below. Also, while you're down in the description box down below, we've released a new brand called pxpresets.com, which is a brand specifically geared towards Lightroom presets at the moment until we do other presets, but Lightroom desktop and mobile presets for Mac, Windows, iOS and Android devices. If you're in the market for some high quality and also free in some cases, Lightroom presets to upgrade your photography, your imaging and your content to the next level, please check out that link in that website in the description box down below as well, since you're already gonna be down there. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photographypx.com. I will see you, my friends, in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we missed something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>